Welcome back and thank you very much. We're mirroring for you what's happening across the country. We've been to Tamale, we've been to uh, the Greater Accra region as well. We've gone to the Ashanti region. Now let's go to Tema because it's one of the lockdown areas. Josephine uh, Entry, AJ has joined me via Skype. Josie, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Very well, Johnny. Yourself? Alive and well. I'm greater than Accra. How is Tema doing uh, this morning? Well, Tema, 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 I, I wouldn't even have the words to describe how it looks now. It, it's almost like a, a ghost town. Wow. Most of the epic areas where you find people uh, coming to one, come to seven, where any day the place is populated, so you find people on the street. Mm. When I went round, the streets are deserted, people are at home. The only people you find on the streets are people who are going to perform essential duties mm. like the nurses and then a few people who also go to the port you know the port was initially excluded but later right. on it was included so okay. uh, what happened was that yesterday there was mm. a very chaotic situation at the long room what happened the brick forders who you know they they have large numbers of okay mm. so there was a committee that was set up for them to get tax Mm. Without tax, please, no security will allow you access into the port. So right. yesterday, about 2,000 of them had the attack. And mm. today, a few are also securing them for them to get access to the port and work. This morning, the people that I came across were okay. mainly uh, the essential duty people, mm. the nurses, those working at the port. And I, I can say that, Johnny, um, the streets are deserted, but mm. the police and the other securities are working really, really hard. Okay. Tema has about uh, several communities, right. one to 25. Absolutely. But they have done it so strategically in a way that um, you find checkpoints within mm. all the, the, the link areas. Okay. So if you come out, you might mm. meet a security officer who okay. asks you, where are you going? There's a central there's, there's a central point which is community one where you know usually people go and congregate to pick their vehicles either to Accra or other places or maybe at the main runabout. What are the situations there? Well, transportation is quite um, a problem for a few essential workers who don't have vehicles who are okay. not driving. Okay. For instance, uh, uh, if if you're not driving and you work in Accra and mm. you're an essential worker, you have to go to the, the transport station. Okay. Now, you know, yesterday there was a directive for the the drivers to mm. comply. So right. let's say a bus which is taking about 25 people, okay. he might have to take like eight. But even to get the eight people to get the bus to fill for them to settle is a problem. So okay. if you are an essential worker mm -hmm. and you work in a car, let's say you work at the beach, okay. you get to the transport station around... 6 a.m. People are not coming, so mm. you have to hold on till you get about five or four before the car moves. Wow! So that that's a bit of the challenge. But for vehicles are available, if mm. you want to go out, you go out. Taxis uh, have been directed to pick one or two. Okay. If you pick more than two, the mm. security immediately drives after you and probably arrest you. Wow! There was a particular scenario that a lady came out of her house. At Tell me about five. it. Apparently. Mm yesterday uh, she was unable to get her gas and she, today she wants to cook she is not an essential worker mm. so the scenario was that the, the security man the military uh, man had to mm. follow her to the gas filling station okay for her to fill her bottle okay for take her back home because they are ensuring that um, they are complying to the directive, but they are also doing it mm. with a human face, Johnny. There, there were exemptions, for example, for food sellers or food vendors, mobile money operators and all of that. Tell me, what picture can you paint for me from Tema? Are they alive and well? Are they active in business? Or are they also on a shutdown? Uh, well, for the food vendors, uh, the assembly came out with a directive that was yesterday mm. that they closed all the big markets mm. and they have designated a few satellite markets, about four of them. Okay. So that's where the traders have sent their, their food stuff, okay. cassava, condo, mm. all of that are available, but okay. people are not coming out to buy. Okay. For those who are selling the popular watch stands, mm. the popular watch stands are operating. Okay. But people don't know how to go and buy because 
most of them are not essential workers. Wow. So if you come out of your house, uh, the security man asks you, where are you going? Mm. I'm going to get food. It means that security, whether they are a team of three or two, one has to follow you to where you're going. Okay. And make sure that you you actually buy the watching. If you're not able to convince them that mm. you're actually purchasing food or something very vital, I'm afraid you they, they'll pick you up. That, that must be tough for the security detail if they have to follow everyone around uh, to, just to ensure that they are doing what they said they were going to do. That must be really exactly. tough. Exactly. That is the scenario I'm seeing that that will be a challenge for them because, well, their numbers are not too many. And mm. if a few of them have to really come out and they're throwing people around. So what they are also trying to do is that they, they, they are telling people that if you don't have anything to do, their numbers are not too many. So okay. please don't step up. L let's talk finally before we hand over to Bella to read a few messages about price hikes. Uh, I'm reading on one of our, from our, one of our viewers that price of sachet water, for example, has jumped from three cities to, to six cities as we speak. Is that the same situation in Tema? Uh, for water, no. We haven't had any hikes in water. It mm. was mainly the food stuff okay. that was really going high, the okay. Gary and a few mm. others. But for water, no. Johnny. Josephine, I thank you very much indeed for your time. And that's our correspondent in Tema, working from home, actually. So TV3 Media General have devised a mechanism where we have most of our reporters working from home so they don't have to come all the way. And she's been reporting from Tema.